Okay, well. Oh! Oh no! And welcome to GT Not Live, where most of the people in the Squid Game wind up not being alive either, so we're in good company. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we're playing Squid Game in amazing record time, right? You have this viral success of a show over on Netflix called Squid Game, and they developed a game for it. Not quite. It was actually developed in Roblox, right? Um, which is really cool. I expect the Squid Game Minecraft server to be just around the corner, but apparently Roblox is all over this. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Squid Game is great. Uh, Matt, have you watched Squid Game yet? I've seen the first two episodes. First two episodes, yeah. okay. What do yes. you think? Good? Uh, Yay, nay? fun. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah? I'm interested to see where it goes. Right? Yeah. So I, uh, I am at game four at this point. It is, and I'm trying to get through it as fast as possible because I want to do a theory about it. A lot of you have been requested. Like, you guys, first off, if you've ever wondered if your recommendations or anything affect the stuff that I, I do and consume and cover on the, on the channels, absolutely, right? I had actually had not heard about Squid Game, even though apparently it had a big marketing push around it in the lead up to its release. Um... And then all of a sudden, you guys just started blasting me on Twitter, uh, at MattPatGT, M-A-T-P-A-T-G-T. -T. Uh, you guys were blasting me on Twitter about, like, do a Squid Game episode, do a Squid Game episode. And I'm like, what is this? And then all of a sudden, like, you were, you were about, like, four days ahead of it really breaking into the mainstream. And now all of, a, all of a sudden, it's everywhere. But, like, so thank you guys for being trendsetters. Uh, you were slightly ahead of the curve, which has allowed me to start working on it, start researching things. Uh, and... I think a lot of people expect us to do like the how to survive, but there are channels that do that sort of stuff where it's like how to survive Saw. Like they do that for every movie. So they were at the jump like weeks ago when it first came out. Uh, but we have a different take on it, which is pretty cool. Um, we're doing like a mathematical take and like an overarching strategy on like you don't know what the games are. So what do you do? Uh, which is cool. But uh, for those of you who don't know, a quick summary, Squid Game, it's on Netflix. Uh, it is highly worth a watch. It is violent and brutal, so just be aware. Uh, it's a mature stream, as we would say. Uh, but it is, it's super fun. Um, it's all about these people who are taken into these, basically, death games. It is basically Fall Guys with humans, right? I mean, like, really, it is Fall Guys for humans, right? Yeah, it's pretty spot on. Right? I, like, honestly, if you if you created a TV miniseries of Fall Guys, it would look like Squid Games. Even down to the fact that, like, you have characters who are dressed, like, bright green and characters who are dressed in, like, bright pink. Like, even the color palette is roughly the same. It's, it's like the creators of Fall Guys were like, wait a minute. Um, and it's And it's true in that form of, like, Battle Royale stuff where... You know, via a series of games, the, the crew gets whittled down and they're ultimately competing for a big prize. I don't know how it ends. I'm still working on that. Um, I've been trying to stay kind of removed from spoilers as much as possible. Um, so I don't actually know. So I can't really spoil anything for you. But the games that they play are really brilliant because they're simple, you know, playground games. You know, I, and I think that's one of the things that gets people really excited about this is, you know, the, the death games are just, you know, glorified things that you would do on the playground, except, you know, deadly and scary. It reminds me a lot of Escape Room, uh, which we had talked about, Matt, the, the Escape Room series, right, right. which was delightful and fun, and it are movies that are much better than I expected them to be. And this is, I think, an even better version of it, because it's even more pared down, more simplified. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, today we're playing, Squ so I'm researching Squid Game for a film theory, uh, but in true GT Live form, we're also hopping into The Squid Game, which was recreated in Roblox. Uh, do you know anything? And this is also my first time playing Roblox, by the way. Like, I've always wanted to hop into the Roblox world and explore it. Because obviously, it's what? The second biggest game in the world, I think, at this point? Or maybe not in the world, but second biggest game on YouTube, for sure. Uh, and it's been this massive phenomenon that kind of came after the Minecraft wave, but is huge in its own right. And... I know that there are just like cool little mods and stories and micro games that you can play in this universe, uh, which I'm really excited to explore and I've always wanted to explore and never really had the, the chance to or like the excuse to uh, just to fit into the schedule. But now this is really cool because it gives me the chance to actually like hop into the game, start exploring what it is and, you know, 
who knows, maybe a Roblox theory down the line, or we could create our own like game theory Roblox game, which would be pretty fun. Uh, anything else I should know about this one going in? Um, who knows? Maybe. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, you would think. Man, if only there was someone who did research before we started well, these. I've, I've been doing, so I played this yesterday. Okay, yes. Um, and it, it is pretty true to form. It's the Squid Games. Did you did you win the Squid Game? No. You did not? Well, I'm bad at video games. It, sure, know okay. I, I do. Um, but cool. there are a number of Squid Game remakes in okay. the Roblox universe. Really? So, okay. Is it So why'd you pick this one in this particular? This one had the most upvotes. Okay. Uh, and, and of the ones I played was the most playable. Okay. That's, uh, I feel like playability is like mildly important for this life. I wouldn't say it's the most important because we have played things that are janktacular. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, the way I play games, especially sometimes on the live stream where I'm like, uh, it's, it's maybe not the most important and we could just like joke about it. But, uh, yeah, I think in this case, like, get, let's get the old college try. Yeah. Let's see if we can bring it home for our estranged wife and daughter. Uh, so that way, not, not in real life. That's kind of the, the, the I could see why you Someone might be, con never seen this. you're right. Yeah. That, I could see why people hearing me say that might be confused because I have a wife and a son and neither of them are estranged. It's a reference to the show. So we're going to, we're going to bring home the bacon, the proverbial bacon from the squid game, uh, and hopefully save our family in the process. So will we be the squiddiest of gamers today? Let's find out. Uh, here we go. Let's hop into it. I should open Roblox. Yes. Start it! That's exciting. Okay, I was going to say, like, Matt, do we have to download and install? Matt! Did we not download and install Roblox? Oh, wow. Oh, they've even uh, designed the waiting room and stuff? Cool. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just in this pile of humanity right here. Yes! Hello, everyone. Hello, fellow competitors of Squid Game. Hello. Hello. We're all about to kill each other. Fantastic. Oh, this guy's all equipped for, for murder right there. Look at him. He's, look at him. He's got an axe. He's got a rainbow backpack. He's running in place. Look at all these rainbow swords. I am so poorly equipped, Matt. Great. Well, let me, let me wait here for the squid game. Uh, I love, so in researching, wow, this, this guy's so tall. He's clearly got a massive advantage. Look at this man. He's like a god amongst Robloxians. That one's got wings. Yeah, he's got wings, but look at it. He's just like na unnaturally tall. It's just unusual to see someone so large. Look at him. He's a beast. I'm very intimidated by all these people, Matt. I am very intimidated. Look at how cool and swaggy they are. And look at how generic. I don't even have a good haircut. This is this is a hot mess. I don't think it's a bad haircut. I look like a... I, I look, look like... Uh, I look like a bad parody of Dream right look now. Like Anthony from Smosh. Ha! <laughs> Old school Anthony from Smosh. It's true, actually. Hey, look, wait, am I player number one? Oh, everyone's player number one. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm number one. I'm old. I'm the excited old man. Yay, look at me playing this great game. Um, yeah. Question but, for you. Yes. If you were in the squid game, yes. you know the, I don't think this is spoiling it, but they have a vote at the beginning. Right? Correct. What would your vote be? To continue or not continue the squid game? Yeah. I would. I mean, there is a death game. There is a game where my life is on the line. Yeah, but you make a lot of money. No, absolutely Even not. Even if you're like, like, absolutely not. Debt, debt written and and. Here's the thing: if I'm, if I am on death's door, if I like have a ticking clock as far as I know when I'm going to die, right? Mm -hmm. And if I know when I'm going to die, and I have basically checked off the bucket list, like, hey, I've said goodbyes to everyone and this and that. Mm -hmm maybe okay. then I would do it because like... What about your estranged wife and daughter? No, actually, you know what? Never mind. I, I wouldn't do it because if you... And we'll see what games we end up playing in Squid Game, but the deaths are pretty horrific. Like, they're not, they're not good ways to go. Oh, yeah. You know, like... Oh, so... <laughs> okay. So we're doing red light, green light. I'm assuming I shouldn't cross this line. Are they going to count me in? Or should I be going right now? I don't think they'll let you cross the line until it's time to Okay, play. good. Then then that's what we'll do. Oh, I'm going to pull off the strategy that they use in, in the show where I, I walk behind someone. <laughs> of, oh, no. Wait. Okay. Good. I was just tip, tipping over. Um, no, I because you know, the deaths are really terrible. Okay, well. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, this is legit. Oh. 
So yeah, okay, so this is a direct thing on the show. Ah, no! Okay, freeze. Oh, no, someone knocked me over! Oh, here, I gotta stay still. Oh, that was not my fault. That was the game just automatically loading. I'm glad that it recognized that. Oh, man, people are dropping. Okay. Oh, he's going fast now. You idiot! Are you kidding? How did that not shoot him? He not only... He not only... I don't know, girlfriend. Girlfriend is using some hacks right here. He's using some Squid Game hacks right now. Just saying. I'm just gonna wait. There's no reason to rush. Boom! Nailed it. Look at that. Oh! I am boss of the games! I'm the squid! Woo! Yeah, to me, like, look at this. You're getting shot with a sniper rifle. I think that's the in-game, like, explanation for what is going on here. Uh, no. I don't, I don't want that. That's not, like, even if I'm on death's door, like, is that what I'm choosing to go with? Eh, I don't know. It'd be quick, though. It'd be quick? I mean, because, I mean, they were headshots in the show. Oh, uh, they were not. A lot of them were. Yeah, they, I have... Have you watched them? There's not... I mean, some of them are. Not all yeah. of them, though. And It's not me. Yeah, would you do it, Matt? Would you do it? I mean, I think the point of the show is that they don't really have a choice. Well, correct. So. Right, yeah, that is, that is the meta-societal commentary. But you presumably have a choice, Matt, right? Like me currently? Yeah. Like in my state of, of body and, and mind? Yes. No. You do not have a choice? No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, oh, Matt, do, do we need to talk about you not having a choice right now? You have so much to live for, Matt. Oh, look at this. Boom, we are top of the tree. Me and Barbie, 1727. I would do it without the death part. <laughs> well, yeah, then you're just playing games. I think I'd win, though. I'm really good at playground games. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Red Light, Green Light. Right? I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. Red Rover, Red Rover. Okay. Okay. Welcome to Sugar Honeycomb. Okay, so they are following, like, the games from the show. Cut the cookie by following the lines. Okay. How do we do this one? If the cookie breaks, you will be eliminated. Yes. This is just like in the game. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm glad that I got the triangle. Are there different shapes? Because in the show, a big deal is made about the different shapes. There are different shapes. Oh, man. So I got the easy one. In the show, it's canonical that this is the easy one. Get out of my way. There we go. Boom! I've done it. Do I need to show anyone or did I win? Great. Oh, no! <laughs> this person died. <laughs> I am a master of the squid game. I've made it through two. Yay, me! <laughs> Let's see those cookies. I have you know so in the aftermath of this show being so popular they've actually um they've actually done a thing where the sales of those sweets have skyrocketed fun fact it's time to rest okay let's go to sleep it is recommended that you forge alliances with other players oh no oh no uh oh Let's, let's be in an alliance together, all three of us. This is us. Are they going to try to kill us? Oh, I forget to say, you get baseball bats for protection. Ha! May the strongest survive. Okay. Two baseball bats. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, it is so dark. This is, a t this is terrible. What is going on here? How about, we, how about we all agree not to hurt each other? I like that idea. I'm just going to hang out on this ladder and hide. <laughs> I, I'm not the one to make alliances, but I'm also not the one to go around killing people, so I'm just going to hide out on the ladder. No one will see me back here. Shh! Don't tell anyone I'm back here! <laughs> I'm just going to Spider-Man. Secret Spider-Man back here. Guys... The optimal strategy in this situation is to not kill each other, I'm telling you. You do not want to kill each other. This is a terrible idea. You are all fools. Do not do it. I 
think if I were in the Squid Game, yeah. I'd play dirty. Of course you would. Yeah. Of course you would. That doesn't surprise me at all, Matt. Why am I why am I not surprised at all about your desire to play dirty, Matt? Uh oh. I've been I've been thrust into the I've been thrust into action. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna continue my strategy back here. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna hide out back here again. <laughs> of course you would, Matt! See, I'm a survivor. I'm I'm a survivor who's gonna like curl up in the corner and hide under dead bodies and do whatever it takes to disguise the fact that I am a still living, breathing human being and get through this, right? Like, I don't care about bumping off other people. Like, you are fine to do your own thing, but I'm gonna run my race and I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna hide and cover up and whatever. Yes, we survived the night. I hope everyone had a good night rest. Okay. No, I'm taking kneecaps. Of course you are. Okay, get ready for your next game. All right. I wish there was a countdown so I could see like what the number is, because that is one of the satisfying things about the the show is you get this constant progression. Okay, our next game is tug of war. <laughs> a button should show up. Press it as fast. Oh, geez. Okay. Is that okay? Good luck. May the best team win. Okay. So what is a button will show up? Click to pull. Oh no. Are we, are we clicking? Okay. Are we pulling? Are we actually pulling? Okay. Click, click. Am I actually doing something or what, what, what's going on here? Am I actually doing, is, 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 am I affecting change in this game right now? Is change being affected right now? I, I, is good, no, are high numbers good or bad? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. I'm clicking a lot. 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 Ah! I don't know if this is gonna bend! I don't know if this is gonna bend! Go, go, go! Oh no, you fools! We're, we're slipping, we're slipping! Lean back! Use your pelvis! Get into it! I don't know why it scrolled out so fast! Oh! Still standing after that? Impressive? Yes? Good? Did I win? We're good? Did we all win? Did anyone die? <laughs> I don't know what happened! A bridge of glass lays before you. Choose the correct path or fall. Okay, now we're getting into territory that I do not know in this in this game right here. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. This requires me to have like good platforming mechanics. So presumably here, I'm just letting other people go in front of me, right? Like this is this is literally just let other people do this. What's the time limit of this? Ooh. I got a minute. Oh no. Okay. This is gonna eliminate everyone, isn't it? Hey guys, I think we should all take a vote about not... Oh! No! Squid Games! Oh, they were all being chickens! Someone had to move forward! Ah! Oh, wait, I have to watch. I want to watch now. Is anyone... No one's gonna survive this, are they? Yeah, he died. See, this is, and again, this is why you need to keep as many people alive as possible. So then they all become fodder for you when, yeah, see, we all died. What a lame squid game. Everyone died. We're all done. No one won the pot of money, because in the end, when society turns against itself, we all lose. It's the moral of the story. Boom. How's that feel, Matt? You feel, feel educated now? <laughs> It's too early in the morning. <laughs> for for society, like is it ever too early in the morning to be aware of supporting your fellow man and being a member of society? Listen. Matt, <laughs> is it ever too, you know, you are a member of society. We live in a society, Matt. We live in a society. We do live in a society. We do. And I'm and gonna become the Joker. You're gonna be the Joker? <laughs> okay. <gasps> so chaos. I get these scars. Um, no, so, but to that point, like that's that's actually just like a 50-50 shot multiple times. Like that's a terrible game. That Which is one, the click one or the no the the glass bridge because mm. it's it's literally what how many coin flips there, you know each time if 50% um, of them fall. Yeah. That's why you need as many people alive as possible so that they all go forward, you know, and then slowly the the pathway reveals itself, right? Otherwise, you're just jumping to your death. Pretty morbid. 
you're playing. It's pretty morbid. It's pr wow. No way. The 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 show that's all about you know the poverty stricken being forced to compete against each other in games to the death for profit. Pretty dark. Man, who would have thunk that? <laughs> I didn't realize that a game in which people get sniped to death while playing uh, Red Light, Green Light would possibly be dark. Society. We live in a society, Matt. We live in a society. We live in a society and this is just hold this is holding a mirror to us, ladies and gentlemen. This is our mirror. Look into the mirror. Do you like what you see? Because this is us playing Red Light, Green Light and being sniped from a giant doll halfway down a football field. Is, does this make you happy? Does this entertain you? Does this fulfill your thirst for blood? Kiki, move in a straight line. Move in a straight line, Kiki. All these people dodging and weaving? I don't know, man. What's the big rush here? Everyone's like, looks like they're in such a rush. We have a lot of time. It's the same thing in the show. This game, this game took so many lives. And to be fair, the heightened emotion that you get from like, hey, I might get shot from playing this game. That's concerning. Like I could see them making really bad decisions in this moment. See, Kiki knows what's up. Kiki's like, there's no rush. I'm just gonna slowly saunter my way to the other end. We live in a society. Boom, nice. Cool. Love this game. Red Light, Green Light. All about it. All day long. Red Rover, Red Rover, send MatPat on over. Did it. Great job. Red Rover is a dangerous game. Oh, arms get broken. I remember, like, like hurting a rib. Yeah. So, here's a question for you. So, Squid Game. I, I'm assuming that the show is named Squid Game. And, and they set this up at the very... Again, I don't know. They set this up at the very beginning, like... When I was on the playground, we played this game called the Squid Game, and we, you know, it's like this goofy playground game that seems like, I don't know if it's regional to uh, North and South Korea, or if it is one of those things where they just made it up for the show, or if it's like meant to be like a local game. I'm glad that this guy pushed me over. Uh, he just launched me, so thanks, man. Here's the mirror! Do you like what you see? Pushing over your fellow Roblox characters. Um... But anyway, I'm assuming that the Squid Game is going to be, like, the big final game of the series, right? I, I would assume. Uh, just because they've set it up, and if they don't use it, it would be strange. Um, but do you have any, like, games that you're not... That you played with your friends that you're not sure? Uh, you know, like, playground games that you made up that could potentially be used oh, as a Squid Game? Do you ever play Gaga? I have no idea what Gaga is. Okay. Uh, I think Gaga is an Israeli game. Um, really? Okay. But you're, you're in a, a circle, like a pit of sorts okay uh you can only use your hands and the goal is to wait hit. you're in a pit like you're in a like a... it's like a fenced little circle okay uh there's a ball on the floor okay and the goal is to hit other people's legs with the ball okay but you can only use your hands so wait you're hitting their legs you're hitting the ball in yes an attempt to to knock their legs with the ball an attempt to knock okay and you're, you're just trying to hit them or to knock them over? You're just trying to hit them. If the okay. ball touches their legs, they're out. Okay, that makes sense. Um, or if the ball, I think, goes through their legs, they're out. Oh, interesting. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, a more strict version of Foursquare, kind of? A little bit, okay. yeah. Cool. It's like dodgeball and like like no other sport really that I can Great, think dodgeball of. and nothing else. Uh, yeah, no, that's totally fine. Okay, so... Um, that's interesting. No, I, I've never heard of that. It's a fun game. Is it one that you guys just, pl like, created with your friends? No, or? It's, a, it's like an Israeli game. That's cool. And and you know other people who, like, play it? And yeah, are we aware. have, like, a Gaga pit at our... Uh, that's, like, like, it's an official Gaga. That's so cool. I have no idea. The the one that... So I, I just would create games. I would create, like, little adventures at night and just imagine... Uh, you know, like, me and my friends would go on these video game style adventures. We called it the exercise game, which was a stupid name. But, like, different playground equipment would be different levels of the game, and there would be boss battles, like the big climbing dome. Uh, the, it's kind of like monkey bars all wrapped up in a dome. Uh, that was, like, the big boss arena, and it was all filled with lava, and there was called the, the, like, lava monster, the lava king. 
and we'd have to take out the Lava King, um, which was cool. And you couldn't like fall into the wood chips because then you would melt and the Lava King would win. Um, so that was really fun. Hey, this guy, what are you doing over there? I see you over there. I see you chucking and jiving over. What are you doing? I don't trust you. It's my my Spider-Man tactic is a, is a solid one. I feel like in this one, just Spider-Man and hide. Um, so we'd play the exercise game, but that wasn't like a, a standard game. Like each day would have a different part of the quest, and you would go to different playground equipment to try and you know get new gems and this and that. Uh, probably the closest thing to a weird localized game or one that I had never really been exposed to. Lap tag? You ever play oh, lap tag? I love lap tag. Okay. Lap yeah. Tag, another extremely violent. Game. I was gonna say, I if there's a season two, because I'm assuming lap tag is not in season one of Squid Game, but if there is a an American version of Squid Game, or if there is a season two of Squid Game. It'd be Red Rover and Lap Tag. <laughs> Red Rover and Lap Tag, because Red Rover, you're just sprinting as hard as you can to just shatter the arms of the people. Hold on! And just, and just shatter those arms. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Red Rover, because I, I don't think kids play it as much anymore because of th that whole, re first off, you need a lot of kids getting together to do it. Um, so it's difficult to just pull off. But then two is, even when you do pull it off, like it's it's a brutal game. You you know it's basically hey we form a human chain, and then it's sprint as fast and hard as you can to like break through the chain. So you're actively like, I mean, you can be weak about it, and just, ah, or you can hold your ground, but you're running the dislocate risk of like dislocating your shoulder. your shoulder or shattering some bones. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, to be fair, I always ran through, and I all, never let people through. Whoa. I always broke through and I like I didn't play it a lot so that's not saying a whole lot yeah. but it's also one of those things where like my record in Red Rover is un, unbeaten wow because I I I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing like I'm I'm like hey if I'm playing this game I'm playing this game yeah but also like I recognize that by doing that it's literally me being like hey um I have no concern about like my fellow man or my fellow kids right okay hold up Where's my crew at? Where's my crew at? Where's my crew at? My crew is letting me down right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, lap tag, for those of you who don't know, lap tag is literally you sit, and I know, you're getting all these clicks, right? Uh, you sit in a, oh no, 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 no. Come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, you sit in a circle, and you have this thing where, you know, you have people in an inner circle, right, sitting in your lap. And your goal is to basically, like when people call you over, the inner circle person tries to like cross the bounds of the circle. Um, there we go. Did we win? Perfect. Uh, yeah, so, so you have two rings of circles, right? You have the inner ring and the outer ring. And the inner ring sits in the laps of the outer ring. And there's one person without a partner. And so they say like, hey, Matt Pat, come on over. And what happens at that point is you know, the, that person in the inner circle has to cross over to the lap of that other person. However, the problem there becomes, um, oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. You, you got to move. Someone's got to move. Someone's got to move. Ooh, this guy's got the strats right here. He's riding the middle. See, I was wondering if there was enough collision detection here to ride the middle. Oh, no. Oh, I got cocky and I, I was a fool. Oh, I had it. I was so close. See, my hubris. And now I don't get my 40 billion won. Where's my 40 billion won, Matt? I love the fact, by the way, that... Did he make it? I, want, I, I support him in the squid game. Oh, they're going to make it. Someone's going to make it. Oh, if I had only been better. But now we know the strat, right? Oh, here he goes. He's got, he's got one jump left. He did it. Good for him. He's a hero. He's a hero. What a, what a master. Good for him. Um, okay, so, uh, I was, I was gonna quickly say I love the fact that in Squid Game, like, I was, we're researching it, right, and one of the top search results coming out of this show is, it's, it's done in, in, uh, Korea, and so one of the, the things is they get paid in won, which is, you know, the, the local Korean currency, and the numbers are like, by the end you'll win 40 billion won! And, and you're like, whoa, 40 billion. So as we're researching this, like one of the top search results around Squid Game is 
40 billion won to US dollars. <laughs> it's really funny, cause I, cause, right? Like, no one knows. It's, you, don't, you hear this huge number and you're like, well, is it like yen? What's the transit? You know, what, what is kind of the conversion rate? Um, so I think that's funny. What's that? Do you know the answer? Uh, I mean, billion ends up being like million, roughly. So it's like 40 billion won ends up being like roughly 40 million. It's less. It's probably closer to like what, like 36, 38, maybe million gotcha. uh, dollars. But yeah, it's that's a very rough translation, but that's kind of what it ended up being. But I, th I love the fact that everyone watching this is like, whoa, because he's also, you see the guy like plug in thousand won bills into like the claw machine. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of tells you like, they're not worth that, that much. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like the equivalent of like a dollar or something like that. So, because uh, he's just plugging it into the claw machine to do this thing. Um, so that's cool. But anyway, lap tag. So, sorry, I'm going back to lap tag. Outer circle, inner circle, someone doesn't have a partner, and so they call, like, a member of the inner circle, like, hey, Matt, Pat, you come over. At which point then, it's my job to sprint on over, crawl on over, without getting up on my feet, right? So I crawl on over to that lap. It is the goal of the my partner, not really partner, but the person who's partnered with me, uh, whose lap I'm sitting in, to hold me back at all costs. Uh, and when I say all costs, I really do mean all costs. Yeah. I, I believe I've said this story on the live stream in the past, but it's... Like, I've played games of lap tag where someone has physically smashed my head repeatedly into... This is a friend of mine uh, for years, and he has and he repeatedly smashed my head into the dirt trying to get me to, to let go... Because I was holding him back? Or, no, I... No, yeah, he was... He was I was holding him back, and he was trying to, like, get me to let go and... and give up holding him back and I didn't and he and he ended up losing the round and I was super proud of it but like literal like clothing gets ripped to shreds I've seen people lose like the legs of their pants as they just get like ripped to shreds um I've seen teeth get lost I was gonna say I, I wouldn't be surprised I haven't seen teeth get lost but I know people who've had teeth get lost you ever done sock wrestling sock wrestling what is sock wrestling it is as simple as you are both wearing one sock and the goal is to take the sock off. Oh, that's fun. So, like, you're trying to get to the other person's sock? Yes. That's cool. It's even more violent than lap tag. No, really? Yeah. Lap tag is, like, peak violence. But lap tag, you're, like, going somewhere. Yeah, you know, that's there's true. There's, like, an end point. Yeah, sock. Sock wrestling is just, You're like, just you're at each other's throats other the whole time. Oh, yeah. nice. Great. That was another one that got, like, banned. Really? Yeah. One one that we played a lot in college was finger jousting. Oh yeah. Where you like link hands, right? And you both point at each other. And the goal is to get the other per to like basically poke the other person. And so I mean, we would do it all up and down the halls of the dorm, you know, and people would be twisted and contorted in all different ways. Like sometimes it would get to the point of like breaking someone's arm, like you wouldn't that at least there was like some level of restraint where you're like okay i'm not going to actually dislocate your arm in this instance um but that was a really good one where because like physically pushing each other back and forth that only works for so long at a certain point you're like doing like weirdo moves where you're like flipping around and going under and trying to like lift him off the ground and literally any strategy you can try to pull off yeah finger jousting was a favorite um Leg wrestling is a classic. You ever leg do wrestling. leg wrestling? Oh, is that when you, you're both laying on the ground? Yeah, you both lay on the ground, you flip your leg up, and you, like, lock your legs. Mm -hmm. And it's it's basically arm wrestling, but, it, your legs. but it feels safer. <laughs> like, arm wrestling, I've oh, seen I've enough seen of, those so I, of those videos. I, arm wrestling freaks me out at this point because I've seen those videos where it's like, and then his arm shatters. And you're like, Snaps. no, I can't. And so leg wrestling, that's a significantly less likely. Uh, and so leg wrestling is fun, yeah, where you like basically lock legs and try to like pull the other person over. Apologies for feet on the live stream. Um, give me a good score on ratemyfeet.com. Uh, <laughs> there, a little, little bonus for all you people out there. Um, but yeah, so those are, those are like maybe season two. Season okay. two of Squid Game. I feel like adults should be allowed to roughhouse more. Right? That There's would be great. There's not enough room for roughhousing in, in modern-day society. It's true. I feel like maybe the reason for that is adults have a lot of pent-up emotions, and if you, mm. if all of a sudden you let those emotions go out, someone's going to get hurt. Just start crying. Yeah, someone's going to get hurt real bad. 
<laughs> All right, let's cut this cookie out real quick so we can nibble on my cookie. If the cookie breaks, you'll be eliminated. Don't get eliminated. I love that everything is just like variations of like the most extreme elimination. Hey, I got a new one this time. Circle slightly harder. It's true. Do you think they purposefully picked the loudest gun that they could? Is this full? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like, it looks kind of full, but okay, there we go. Nice. Um, yeah, man. Got to pick a loud gun. <laughs> I wanna you got to strike the fear of death into everyone, right? It's like, oh, no. I want to see, like, behind the scenes, like, what the producers were doing uh -huh. for, for the Squid Game. Uh-huh. Do they have production coordinators? Is there... Is their crew right i'd actually love the logistics of yeah you're not talking about the show you're talking no, about like the actual, actual producers of the yeah. the squid game oh absolutely Do there's they get crafty they yeah no they because they're living on an island and they're living in dormitories so they must get crafty right right the the little pink guys yeah little pink guys definitely here let me spider-man uh this is this is my spider-man section I'm, I'm determined to get past the glass bridge do you think they're unionized the the produ the the pink people yes. of the squid game the square and like, do they get health insurance they don't get health insurance certainly not why because the the threat of death in this career is terrible like All the pink guys are at risk constantly well that's why they formed such a strong union and that's why they've I, maybe potentially yeah hey unsafe work conditions mm -hmm. although i think if you're here it kind of goes with the territory like you're kind of the payday has got to be worth the fact that you're here, you right? So? Yeah, it's got to be. Do you think they get paid? I do wonder that actually. So in the in the show, not to spoil, there's not this isn't really much of a spoiler at all. Um, but basically in the show, right, you have this kind of subplot of some of the like workers of the Squid Game, um, you know, stealing body parts to sell them like the black market, basically. And so they're getting paid, but I guess they're not getting paid as much as they'd like, you yeah. know. So. I don't know. The economics of the squid game itself is fascinating to me. Maybe it's all revealed by the end, man. Maybe maybe we'll figure it out by the end. Yeah, I, I have only seen two episodes. Yeah, and I have seen five, but I don't have the answers to a lot of this. Right. But, right, I, it's, it's a great production. Like, when, you, when it comes to, you know, watchable death games, you know, there's... But then again, also the Escape Room movies, which are much better than I thought that they would be. The level of production of the, like, murder organization putting the stuff you're like wow yeah. like there is a team of production designers and engineers who really went all out on this room this like old-timey library that's ultimately going to get crushed to smithereens like through the roof this thing's got like a bigger production budget than like a broadway show at this point also the the costumes are incredible at least in squid game the costumes for for the the workers oh for the workers yeah. oh the uniforms are great solid yeah. yeah but i mean like to fit each individual person with their own that's mask. true oh yeah it is, right everyone's outfitted everyone's got like a good a good fitting wardrobe yeah. yeah it's true it's it's a tight operation they have everyone has individual dormitories like the actual physical building of this universe is really impressive all right this is go time now oh no it's tug of war oh just stupid tug of war i hate tug of war Tug of War is simultaneously uh, the the best episode and also the worst game here. Uh, okay, here we go. This is where I need to focus because I can't die on this one. I can't. I can't do it, man. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone, lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Get them off. Three steps forward. We need like an aimbot. Is, is there, like, a Roblox equivalent of, like, the tug-of-war bot here? Where it just, like, does this for us? <laughs> or something something akin to, like, you know, the, the like, see-through wall hacks or something in, for Squid Games? Oh, no. I don't know what side... Oh, my side is 1,200. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Keep, keep clicking. I love, I love how no one actually moves during this game. So it's just so unclear what is actually happening in this moment. <laughs> All right, all right. All right, yay, we survived, huzzah. Still standing after all this, great. Um, nope, stop moving, stop pushing me around. I'm not falling off of this thing at this point. We're doing one more round of the glass bridge. 
See, this is what Fall, Fall... If Fall Guys is not creating a Squid Game mod at this point, or if they're not doing, like, variants of the Squid Game... What are they doing? They're sleeping on the job, is what, is what they're doing. Okay. Who's going ahead? Good job. You have wings. You have wings. You can do this, wing guy. Okay. Nope. Go for it. Oh, see? See, platforming. Basic, basic platforming. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on, Kaylee. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go for it, Randy. You got this. Run our race. Run our race. Okay, here we go. 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. Yes! Woo! Me and Steph! Yeah! Yes! Oh, buddy! I don't know. I have. I mean, I didn't know that this was coming, so I. I have no clue what's next. <laughs> I, neither of us are surviving this one. Oh wait, there's a couple of us. Wait. Who? How did these other people survive? Welcome back. Yeah, Square Guard. You know the drill. I don't know the drill. I'm not killing anyone. Good luck. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna run away. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna run away. No thanks. No thank you. Okay. Are you gonna give us bats or something? We all just... There it is. Baseball bat! Hey Matt, how do I use the baseball bat? Oh, it is, it has such a huge delay. Okay, so it's just a click, but it's just a massive delay to do it. Good to know. Did everyone else disappear? Good, it looks like everyone's kind of on the same page here of we just all survived together. We're all, in, in the words of High School Musical, we're all in this together. If, if Squid Game has made me think of something, it's that we're all Troy Bolton. We're all in this together. Wildcats, sing along. A better example of everyone uniting for a cause than high school mu getting Troy and Gabriella together in High School Musical. Cool. Yes, I agree. I, I, ho I hold the mirror up to that society, and I'm proud of it. It's a beautiful thing. That, but also, I was gonna say, I can't think of a worse feeling than losing tug of war. Tug of war. So, unlike Red Rover, where I, I was really solid in terms of of like performance. My hit, my win ratio on tug, being on tug of war, winning teams, not yeah. great. Tug of war, tug of war, so hard. It's so brutal. It's so exhausting. That being said, okay, get get up and get ready for your next game. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. I gotta focus now. This is this is something. I don't. Ooh, what is this? Is this a big maze? What is this? Welcome to our next game. Okay, what do we do? In this game, you will be trying to guess if there are an even or odd amount of marbles. What? What? If you guess wrong, you will lose two marbles. If you guess right, you will gain one marble. Really? If you run out of marbles, you will be eliminated. Oh no. There are four rounds. Make it through all of them to win. <gasps> okay. Oh, weird. Okay. Even. Yes! Woo! Got one. Okay. So if I have even and he has even, that's going to be even. If I have even and he has odd, it's going to be odd. I, like, it doesn't really help. Say seven, eight. Oh no! Oh no, Steph! Oh, Steph, I'm so sorry. Oh no, this is the final round though, so it doesn't matter. But if he's dead, there's 
if Steph is dead, then I've got eight marbles, so it should be even, right? Oh, I guess not, but okay. But I win. Yeah! Yes! I have more than zero marbles! Yeah, I'm still alive! Oh no, is the last game the squid game? Or do I just win? Am I the last one standing? <gasps> Did I win? D Did I get X... Randy. Randy, welcome back. Thank you. You know the drill. Wait, are you gonna try to kill? We're killing people again? Come on! We're so over killing people at this point! No! No! Just give me my wand! Give me my billions! Is there literally anyone left in this game? How do I know? Is it just me and Dub Baby? <laughs> Dub Baby, are you alive? Are you in some weird loading purgatory? Okay, the baby and I have the same strategy, which is run to the top and stand still. And Randy's still here. So... Are we, are, are we the final three? Is this the final three of the Squid Game? I don't know. It seems like it. Oh, poor Steph. Steph had a tragic loss. At this point, everyone agrees. They're like, hey, we're just hanging out. I will prepare. I will brandish my bat just in case. To show people that while I do not, while I'm a lover and not a fighter, I will fight if provoked. That's that's my motto. Well, if you get the baby right now, you win, right? Not necessarily, because I don't know what the last game is. Oh, like, the, I might still be forced to play the last game. So... I, I, you have to. Play. <laughs> <laughs> it's not if anything, game. I should be asking you that as the person who presumably did research. I don't know. How should I know? <laughs> oh, if you kill them, you still have to play. Well, I'm like, like by the rules of the show, right? Again, I have not finished the I show either. either. See, so I don't know if you get the prize if you survive all six rounds or if you well, kill off. Beat all the games. I think you have to beat all the games. Because honestly, think about it. Price is Right promises you a lot of really expensive prizes, but. But if they you make kill the... everybody on the Price is Right, you don't get the prizes. Right. Exactly. Okay. Wait. You won! I I won the squid game! I got 310 cash! Woo! Yeah, buddy! I'm in the money! I did it! I won the squid game! I won the squid game! Yes! Yes! Booyah! I'm getting my family back from America. I'm getting out of poverty. And we're doing this, baby. We're out, man. We're, we're living in the high rises now. We've got our 44 billion yuan, which translates to roughly 40 million dollars, 44 million dollars. Boom! Make it rain! I couldn't save Fall Guys. You know, I couldn't take home the crown in Fall Guys and it was a rage-inducing experience, but look, I ran my race and we did it. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Expect a bonus, Matt. <laughs> gonna, gonna treat you to something nice. Gonna treat you to some, some honeycomb candy. Got some honeycomb candy headed your way, bud. Okay. Boom! Oh, that's super fun. This is great. This is super fun. I love this. It was really good. I do like that the last game is is an anticlimactic number guessing game. <laughs> like, gotta say, not not the most uh, robust or exciting finale for that one. But uh, and and also one final round to like beat each other to death. So that's also kind of a lame one. Um, Matt, I love that you gave me the name Matthew Pathew GT Live. Can we talk about this? Sorry, I was I was wrapping things up and then I just noticed what you actually called me, which is Matthew Pathew, GT Live. You would be surprised. So, uh, how many people have taken so many variations of your name on Roblox? I oh sure. Every single one of them. I'm just surprised that you would actively label us as Matthew Pathew GT Live. Well, just because you know I want people to know. Okay. Also, I was like, there's no way that Matthew Pathew GT Live is the real Matt Pat, you know. That's fair. That is true. Well, he was surprise. <laughs> Pulled the wool off your eyes and sent you all to your deaths playing the Squid Games. This was super fun. Um, I, I'm so curious if there are other mods out there. If there are other Squid Game mods, let us know. Because um, I am all aboard playing those. This is, this is super great. And now that I'm in the money, I can just hop into the games again. Buy my way out. Pay to win. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there are other Squid Game things out there because I'm really enjoying the series. It's a cool trend uh, and it's awesome to see, you know, films and projects from other parts of the world get such mainstream success. It has been awesome to watch this just explode into this global phenomenon, which is really awesome. Um, so, you know, let me know if there's other Squid Game stuff we should check out or, uh, you know, if you just want to take me on in a, in a battle to the death because who knows? One of us will walk home with a bunch of wan in our pockets. Uh, or otherwise Matt can step in because I hear he's, he's definitely game. But watch out. He'll take a bat to your knees. Wow. There's money involved. Do you think, sorry, last thing. Do you think we could pitch this to YouTube Originals? And we could do like, hey, this is our version of Squid Games. And it's like lap tag, uh -huh. finger joust. Yeah. What was, your, what was yours again? It was... Gaga? Gaga. That's it. I, I'm like, I, it, it's... Okay. Yeah, Gaga. Baseball bats. And, and baseball bats. And baseball bats. And, and, yeah, YouTubers to other YouTubers with baseball bats. Yeah. No, yeah. I think they would definitely sign on to us picking the most violent games that we can think of and then forcing forcing mainstream YouTubers Great. to do them. Great. Let's do it. That's All right. right. YouTube Originals, watch out. You have an email headed your way. Cool. We'll have to get through the St. Jude live stream first. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a squid game. A squid game for you. See ya. Mm.